Today I'm going to do a brief run through of a few steps you can take to improve your photogrammetry scans, create a high quality mesh, and use that mesh to visualize your subject of interest. The goal of this project was to get an accurate 3D asset of a unique 150 year old homestead that I could use in Unreal Engine for future projects. In my previous video, Improving Your Drone Photogrammetry Results, we discovered that oblique photos and higher quality processing settings would create a more accurate, less noisy point cloud. Unfortunately, even when taking what I learned there into consideration, I knew I wouldn't get a product good enough for what I'm trying to do here. There are two additional techniques I knew I could implement to get a better quality result. Terrestrial based images with a handheld DSLR and building my mesh based on depth maps. Let's take a look at the mesh created from the point cloud. As you can see, the detail is pretty low and the noise in the point cloud is transferred into the mesh. The mesh created from depth maps is much cleaner and much more detailed. It still struggled with windows, but until Nerf really takes off, there isn't really an easy way to deal with translucent or shiny surfaces. When I use this model in the future, I will probably cut out the windows and replace them with modeled assets. We were able to catch the scarring in the old log beams and even reconstruct a lot of the wiring on the exterior of the structure. The handheld images were able to fill in details that would not have been possible from drone-based imagery alone. When we take a closer look, the level of detail is quite remarkable, especially considering I didn't spend an extraordinary amount of time in the field doing the data capture. I would estimate that between the drone flight and the terrestrial images, I spent maybe 20 to 30 minutes picking up this building. I should note that the model we are looking at hasn't been manually cleaned at all. If I wanted better results, I could have used a higher quality DSLR and taken a lot more pictures. But I wanted to determine the quality of results I could get without spending so much time that it would raise the cost of capture beyond what would be reasonable for most projects. Once I had my mesh, I dropped it into Unreal Engine, built up a very quick and rudimentary scene and created an animation. Some possible use cases for this may be creating a 3D asset for VR, game development, or cinematic purposes. To model this 3D asset from scratch, it would take exponentially more time and you wouldn't have something that was as true to what the real world asset is as what was produced here. You could expand your data capture to a larger area and build out an entire construction site or workplace and bring this data into a VR environment for remote training or safety purposes. Or gamify a theme park, for example, for marketing purposes. Imagine being able to play a video game in real world, highly accurate environments. As hardware and software continues to make leaps and bounds, we are capable of using extremely high resolution data sets. I believe the days of surveying site plans through single point observations will lose market share to immersive, highly data dense 3D capture. The site plan of the future will be a digital twin of real world environments where we once represented a building with four total station shots, now will be 3D models with millions of faces. 